Good morning everyone, a new day. Good morning, it is now <laughs> Monday. Yes, we're hoping to be lifted in on Thursday. So we need to get this priming, anti-fouling and everything done. There is rain for the next two days, so today is the only day if we want to be lifted in on Thursday. And nothing like a time schedule. So guys, we have, the time has come. Uh, Jade, yeah. bring a GoPro, GoPro battery as well. Yeah. Battery's looking a little low. Um, yeah, we've done the epoxy primer and really, really happy with it, to be honest. Really happy with how this seems to have come up. Um, Jade's just going on the boat. We're just gonna get the anti foul now and the masking tape. And we're gonna do the whole boat. That's the plan. We want to get all of this done today. Now, to save you seeing something that you've probably seen a hundred times before, this is the process that we did. We sanded, cleaned, and prepared the surface as best as possible. We did this a couple of times. After that, we then put an underwater epoxy barrier coat, put three coats of this on, and then we put on the anti fouling. We were only able to put two coats of this on, and then we did two coats of a boot line anti foul as well. Moment of truth. Oh, you just can't beat a nice clean line. Oh, look at that. So right, Bryn was just taking the anodes off. I don't know whether it's something that I've done or whether it was meant to happen, but I'm pretty sure the last time these were off, it wasn't a problem. But as I'm taking these out, yeah, uh, just get this on, and then yeah, you'll see the top of it. The whole thing spins, which that goes through the boat. So one, I've got to try and get this nut off. And two, that's now loose. I'm wondering if like, once I've got the bolt off, that this just needs sicker flexing. Yeah. Hopefully, but honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna have to double check. You spin my bolt right round, right, right round. <laughs> We've ignored the anode problem for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> focusing on this We're now. focusing on finishing the boot line. So we're halfway there. Looking nice. This is honestly my favourite bit after you've painted a boat and you get to peel the masking tape off. And fingers crossed, we don't, it should look pretty damn good. Let's go. The moment of truth. We were so happy with the results of our hard work that we thought we deserved a little break. So the next day, we went for a walk and an explore. I broke my toe. Yeah. Oh, no breath. I'm We're dying. Sort of fit. I broke my toe. I tried to karate kick Brian and accidentally <laughs> kicked the bed and broke my toe. And that was what? Two months ago. Two months ago. Put and the it's pictures. only just healed and it's still a bit tender. So I would not recommend you ever break your toe. Back from our walk, we've had a shower, we've had a little mini kind of siesta, we've had lunch, uh, and then I'm back to the grindstone. I am currently editing another video. Um, and yeah, let's see what Captain Bryn is up to. Hey it's really windy out there, so I don't know if I can yeah. hear you. So essentially, because it's been a while since we turned on all the boat electrics, so I'm just basically updating everything. Um, so just connecting the chart plotter up to the internet and just waiting for the downloads. Um, I hope this has suntan lotion on. 
This is how we uh, lather the lotion now. <laughs> that feel nice? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all my plans for today. I'm just going to go over some of the boat systems and just make sure that they're all working okay. So I think we might have told you yesterday about the situation with the anode. I think we showed you. Uh, so we were trying to set the anode off, but the um, bolt kept spinning. So we've had to, well, we're going to have to get in the locker to check the other side of the bolt. We've been and bought the new anodes. Where this anode is going to bolt onto this long one here, mm -hmm. um, the two bolts that come through through the hull are located behind the engine. So the only access really that we have to that is empty out all of this locker, get in here, and then there's a door. So we then open the door and we can kind of get the access. So that's yeah what we're doing now. Okay, we've emptied. This is one locker. Look how much, the, like, so genuinely. So much fits in that locker. This all fits in here. It's massive. I know, Bryn's about to fit in. Yeah. That's how big the locker is. <laughs> oh, you cheeky. <laughs> oh, right. Um, there is a bit of water in the bottom, so I'm going to sponge that water out. Get um, in your new home. How many times do you reckon I'm going to get cramped? Getting comfy in there. I am. Can I have... It's so big up here as well, like at the top. Hello. Hello. You want a bucket? Yeah, bucket. bucket. This is the one that we're trying to change. I think we are going to have to take everything off um, because we're going to have to take this whole bolt out to rebed it just because it's spinning underneath. So, just see if I can take it off. I'm going to pass the camera back to Jade because my legs are going dead. So Bryn is about to knock the bolt through. I'm just going to un unscrew this bolt. It's coming out. Let's have a look then. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. So this seems to be bonded on here. So if now that we've got this little bit of clean, I'm going to maybe use, see if I can get something to grip on this part mm -hmm. and then see if I can undo that part. But it's much easier now it's out, out of the boat. Also, we're going to have to rebed this plate uh, because it was spinning. So we couldn't have left it in anyway. I think we're making some progress. That has got it. Woo! That took a while, didn't it? It was tough. Oh my god, that was so difficult. Well, we managed it so it can't have been too, too difficult. That's the important thing. So, I think this is a bit of a flawed design. Because basically you got two of these going through. And just like Sikaflex mm -hmm. or some sort of sealant holding it in place. Now, surely to stop them spinning, they could just like weld something between the two of them. They're like, like goal posts and then that would stop them spinning. But, eh, it's done anyway. I can imagine this being a problem for other people though, because this bit's exposed to the sea. So it's yeah, gonna get true. it's gonna get some corrosion. I know it's got an anode on it, but it's gonna get something. And also like, surely it'll get some fouling. So, but it's done now, we're happy. So what's the next stage? Uh, clean this up a little bit more. Um, and then we're just gonna put sealant on and tighten it into place. I think that's the uh, the next stage. My turn in the locker now. Um, Bryn is standing outside on the other side of this bolt and I'm heading in the, in the crawl space. <laughs> so you can see, sorry Bryn, do that again. Can you hear me Bryn? Can you hear me? Okie doke. So I'm going to pop these washers um, on the other side of this bolt after Bryn has sicker flexed it and hopefully that means it will it will hold and be a bit and stick a bit better on the hull. So here is what we're looking at the other end. Yeah, I'm just going to take this masking tape off now. Yep. There we 
go. Sorted. Good morning everyone. It is the day that we lift in and we're just waking up. It's about 20 past half past seven, something like that. It's cold. Jade's cold, Jade's in bed. So this is a first for everyone. You'll see that <laughs> I'm awake and Jade is all miracle. snug. Gotta say I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. Not really that hungry this morning either. But everything's good. I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be okay. It's just always them things that you just like, there's always a chance that something's gonna leak. But we've been in this position, what, three, four times now? And it's been fine. All the, we've got the fenders set up, the lines are set up. Uh, we're just gonna wait for the guys to come over and call us in. Once we left where you get lifted in and out of the water, we'd been floating around for quite a bit of time. Luckily, someone waved us over from the pontoon and we were able to find our space. Considering this is our second time ever med mooring, it went very well. We simply threw the two aft lines to the person on the dock, tied them off, then Jade was handed a slime line to which she took to the front of the boat and tied off to the Samson post. It's still recording. I think so. <gasps> Wow, that that was stressful, weren't it? Guys, that was really stressful. I've just checked the stone gland and the uh, the anode bolt. That seemed okay. Everything looks all right. I'll just double check the bilge. All good. Perfect. Oh. All right, let's go sort the sort the lines out. The lines out. So I'll just show you guys the slime line. So obviously the guy on the dock handed us this and we've had to tie it on but it's really grubby. It's really gross. It's really gross. Yes. <laughs> this is the tenth day without gas. That's insane. But we have some now so we're gonna cook some food soon. <laughs> Guys, guess what our uh, celebration we have gas meal is going to be tonight Ooh. it's pasta, <laughs> it's pasta. <laughs> no it's spaghetti. spaghetti healthy brain spaghetti <laughs> homage to someone that I really really like watching, Young Bloods. So if anyone else watches them, shout out because they're awesome. But yeah, we now have fire on the boat, so hot drinks, hot food, hot stuff. That's Jade. <laughs> so yeah, so so happy. I'm just gonna go over and check that everything's okay. Classically, our first meal back with gas had to be creamy pasta. Yes. Creamy vegan pasta with tomatoes, mushrooms, garlic. Mm. This is so good. That's beautiful. Mm. So, I don't know how you do it. We were a bit rushed earlier, so we didn't quite tell you guys what happened. Um, but like, it was super stressful when we got back in the water, so we didn't re record much. But we got hauled in the water, obviously, turned the engine on. Engine started fine, but there was no water coming out the back. Yeah, there's no water coming out the exhaust. Out the exhaust, so we were like, oh no. So we quickly turned everything off. Mm. Um, at this point, like, the guys that had, had us in the water were trying to get rid of us. So Bryn was like, no, wait, 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 wait. And yeah. they grabbed the ropes and like pulled us back in. They were like edging us. Yeah. They were pulling the ropes and pulling us out of the slip as if they were going to let us go. We were like, no, no, not yet, not yet. Um, but yeah, so we turned the engine off. Turned the engine off. Sorted um, out the problem. And essentially, I think what happens, and it's happened a few times with us when we've been lifted in and out of the water, and it happened once uh, at um, sea. Yeah, when we healed over a and lot. And we healed over a lot. 
And yeah. I think what happens is it breaks the siphon. If, if our engine sucks air in, it sometimes mm. breaks the siphon and it's not mm -hmm. able to then continue to suck water. So all I did is I closed this engine raw water inlet, opened the um, sieve, the mm. strainer, the seawater strainer, opened that, and I just poured water in until it filled, closed it, switched the engine on with the sea cut closed, and once it had like literally just started, I opened it straight away and it pulled all the water through. Yeah, and then it was fine after that, wasn't it? Yeah, that, it literally there was no problems after that. But then after that, we they told us that we were on pontoon two, which was fine. But then we went there and we couldn't see anyone waiting for us, so we didn't know what space we were going in. And we were both still super nervous doing Medmore in like alone. Yeah. So it was like I want someone there to catch it for us. Like we're not confident doing it after six months of and we've only done it once ever. Yeah. So we're like we hovered around a bit. I've got to say, Bryn's driving was exceptional because, like, Talisman Aww. doesn't do well in reverse sometimes. And he was, like, reversing like a champ. I was only reversing. What yeah. so, so what sometimes happens for, just in case this helps some of you guys in the future, when you first put a boat into reverse, you can get what's called prop wash or prop walk. Um, prop walk, I think, is the term. And basically, the boat will just turn to one side or the other. But if you're reversing and you have a bit of a run up, you then gain steerage. So you have to have the momentum before you can actually control the boat with any certainty in reverse. Mm -hmm. So I think because they had kind of catapulted us with the ropes in reverse, we already had the momentum yeah. and the steerage. That was a little boost, didn't it? Yeah. A little head start. So that kind of helped, mm. but it was so nerve wracking. You I think called that's the, the best marina. Way. Yeah, I called the marina and I was like, do you know like, where are we going? And um, they didn't speak any English, and obviously my Spanish is terrible, so that didn't help. I was like, talisman, pontoon two, talisman, pontoon two, and then I heard them go, oh, no, and like, and started like shouting to each other, and then a guy came. Yeah, so they must have knew what we were, what we meant. Yeah, um, and he came along and waved us in, and we were like, thank God. The the, the docking the more, was yeah. that was actually not that bad at all. Like we yeah we just reversed amazing. straight in through the lines, got tied off. Grab the slime line. Jade sorted mm. that out like a bus. Like, we was in. I was impressed how easy Medmore and Fowl this season compared to when we first did it. Yeah, I know. Like, we were both stressing about it and it was totally fine. It was absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, and the Anno didn't leak. Uh, no leaks. Seacocks are all fine. Fo everything's fine. We are floating. We are happy. Yeah. Like, could not be happier right now. We'll say good, good night for today, guys. We're just going to go... Um, just going to watch Celebrate our yeah. win of being back in the water. Chill out. Yeah. But thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Thanks for following the journey yeah. and like the support, the comments. It, it's amazing, like the feedback yeah. that we get. We've got so many adventures to share with you this season, honestly. Like we're so excited to get out and get sailing again and it won't be long. But yeah, we'll speak to you guys soon and take care. Yep. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye.